Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to the second video of our Zeppelin for Beginners video series. Now in the last video I gave you an overview of what we will talk about in this video series. And today we are looking at the first few things that Zeppelin has to offer. So after choosing a plan and after creating an account, you will get to this screen right here, in which you will get to see an overview of all the projects that you have. And if you don't have any projects yet, you will be able to download the Mac app, the Windows app or go to the web app. Now, of course, we downloaded the Mac app and we will use it for the rest of the video series. Now I will enter my uh, details right here and then we see us in a project overview. Now you see that we are inside Zeppelin and we are able to create our first project. Then we have to choose the platform that we are working for. So uh, we can go and click web, iOS or Android, depending on the project or the device that we are working for. Now I will go and click iOS because mostly I'm designing for iOS devices and uh, these projects will then be for any iOS device that you can think of. Let's create it. And now we see that Zeppelin is giving us a step-by-step -step process. At first, we have to select the platform, the, the app that we are using. And of course, I'm using Sketch and it is giving us the step-by-step -step, uh, manual what to do. It says select a layer or an artboard and then click this uh, like shortcut or go and use the plugin menu. Now I will record a separate Sketch to Zeppelin video because I think there are more than these few things that you need to know when transitioning your design from Sketch into Zeppelin. But I will explain you right now what the difference is between the different platforms like iOS, Android or web because there are a couple of differences and you should know about that. Now I created projects for every platform. We have Android, web and iOS and we can sort them using the date where it was created, where it was last updated or by name. I'm gonna go and hit create it because that's the way that I uh, just want to have it right here. You can even search for it. Uh, all those uh, projects have the same name. And uh, then what's quite important is that the few settings that we see right here are available for any kind of project. So you can invite other people using their email. So they have to uh, create a Zeppelin account as well, but it can also be of course the free account. And then once they are invited, you can uh, just copy the app link or the web link and it will guide and redirect them to the correct project. You can also transfer the ownership if that is something that is important to you. And you can also archive the project if you are not working on it but you want to still have it in the background. Or you can also go and delete it right away. Now you see that I uploaded a screen, it is the same screen actually, uh, on all the different projects that we have for each platform basically. And it's important to do this because I want to show you the differences between the project types. Uh, if I go into such a screen and we select one of uh, the assets right here, you see that in Android we have PNGs uh, with the different sizes for Android devices and an SVG. And if I go to a to the web project, we are getting uh, these at 1x, at 2x uh, assets. And if I go to iOS, there are different assets um, right here because we get PNGs and PDFs. So each project has different file types and sizes that you will get when exporting something. That's something that is important uh, with the project types. But I also want to give you an overview of how it looks like in such a um, in su inside such a project. Uh, now we are inside a project and we see the project title right here. Of course, this should be called something like Android or something that will give you the ability to remember it. We can do, of course, the same with the other projects. This one is web and this one is iOS. And we also see the project type right here that we can uh, also uh, edit once we created it. 
Okay, what other things do we have right here? We have a description, so you can add any notes that are project-wide. You can add extensions and you see the members of the project. And maybe you want to invite somebody, then just click the little settings icon here and invite one. Or uh, then use these little three dots right here to interact with the user. Okay, now you saw that it's important to have different uh, platform types or project types uh, depending on what kind of project you're doing. So if you, for example, do a certain project and it will be an iOS and an Android app, definitely create two projects for that. Don't do it in just one project and upload both platforms in it. Um, make sure to use uh, two projects for it because it's important for the developer who will create uh, and download assets from here. That's very important. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked and learned something uh, in this video. Thanks for watching and we see us in the next one. Bye.